Hi, I am Zain Khan and in this video, we will touch upon a very interesting topic that is how do the robots avoid colliding into one another? I can ask this same question by rephrasing it slightly differently. I can ask how do I express one moving frame with respect to another? So how can I express one moving frame, let's say my moving frame M1 with respect to another moving frame? In order to explain why that is, I have chosen this example. In this, there are two robots, mobile robots, they are moving about and there is a fixed frame placed here. So if I know this length, how far the first robot is from the fixed frame and if I know how far the second robot is from the fixed frame, then I can simply find out the position and the orientation of this moving frame, let me call this M1 with respect to the fixed frame. So I can find out this. Let's say I call this H of A, homogeneous transform which takes the fixed frame to the moving frame 1. And then if I can find out the position and orientation of this frame, let me call this M2. So if I can find out the homogeneous transform that takes the fixed frame to the M2 frame, I call this HB. And finally, I take another homogeneous transform that takes the M2 frame and puts it to the M1 frame. And let me call this HBA. So homogeneous transform that takes the B frame or the M2 frame to the A frame. What I mean is if I go about in circle, I can say that H A. So the fixed frame to the H A frame here would be equal to H B frame times the H B A frame. So what this means is that H A takes the fixed frame to the M1 frame and H B takes the fixed frame to the M2 frame and H B A takes it back to the M1 frame. So this right here. The terms on the left and the right are equal. And now from this, if I make HB as a subject, so I would get HB inverse times HA. And this HBA, the homogeneous transform represented by this would be of the form of a rotation matrix here, two zeros and two terms here. Let me call this DX and dy and a one. If I am able to get this from this homogeneous transform, I can figure out dx and dy, right? And what this would mean is this dx would simply be how far this, this origin is from this point in x. So this would be my dx and this would be my dy. So this right here would be my dx and this right here would be my dy. And of course, when this dx and dy would be 0 and 0, then the two end effectors would be colliding and on top of each other. So all I need to do is I need to find out HBA, a homogeneous transform that takes the, the M2 moving frame to the M1 moving frame. Now, before we move on to the more formal question for this, let me bring something to your notice. So we know that the A matrix, which is the rotation matrix is always of the form of cosine of theta, sine of theta, minus sine of theta and cosine of theta. And the A inverse of this matrix is just the A transpose of this matrix. So A inverse would be equal to the A transpose, which would come out to be cosine of theta, cosine of theta here, and this is going to be sine of theta and minus sine of theta. If you want to verify, you can do this since you know that a matrix times its inverse is always equal to the identity matrix. So you can solve this out and prove that this indeed is true. Now, what about the homogeneous transform? So we know that the homogeneous transform is of the form that there is a rotation matrix here, two zeros, there is a displacement term here and one. And 
if I find out the inverse of the homogeneous transform, I figure it out that it is of this form. 8 transpose 0, 0 minus 8 transpose times D and 1. And of course, you can verify this by using this equation. H times H inverse should give you the identity matrix. You do not actually need to know this and this, but it's always good to know this just in case if uh, you get stuck somewhere. So this might help you out. So this right here is the question that I have. And it says that I need to express the coordinate in card A's and effective frame to those in card B's and effective frame. All this means is that I need to find a homogeneous transform that takes this to this, which is the H B A that we wrote here. And it also asks us to express the answer as a single simplified homogeneous transform. So I know that my first homogeneous transform that I need to find out is this H A. So my H A is going to be the multiplication of this homogeneous transform H1, which takes the fixed frame to this, then the one that takes this to this H2 and the one that takes this to this H3. So H A would just be equal to H1 times H2 times H3. And if I write it in a more expanded form, I can see that this is going to be A of theta one, zero vector transposed and it is going to be a zero one my h2 is going to be a of theta two zero and zero and a one zero one and my h3 is going to be now we you can see that your frame is right here and taking it from here to here, there's no rotation involved. So it is just going to be an identity matrix. So one, zero, zero, one, two zeros. And this is going to be a two, zero and one. Now for the, for this one, which is, which takes a fixed frame to this frame right here, the HB, I can say that HB would be equal to the met the homogeneous transform that takes this to this first. So let me call this H4, then this to this, H5, and then this to this, H6. So HB would be equal to H4 times H5 times H6, which is just going to be equal to A of phi. 1 0 0 a b 0 1 a of 5 2 0 0 then this is going to be b 1 0 1 and again there is no rotation involved so it is going to be 0 and identity matrix here and 0 and b 2 0 1 now I have H A I have H P. So I know that H A is equal to H B times H B A, where H B is the matrix that homogeneous transform, sorry, that takes H B to this H B A. And this is what we need to find. So if I make H B the subject, it is this H B inverse times H A. And now I can obviously do this using pen and paper or in this case my drawing tablet but a better approach would be to use a software for this so let me pull up my MATLAB really quick. If you don't know how to use MATLAB I have a complete tutorial on MATLAB I am going to put a link down in the description if you want to go down that route. So I have just input all these h1, h2, h3, h4, h5 and h6 and you can see the output on the right h5 and h6 and i have calculated h a h b and then i have first taken the inverse of h b multiplied by h a to get get my h b a which is this 
and from this I can extract the dx and dy which shows me the position of the one reference frame with respect to another which is just going to be these two terms let me pull them out so which is just these two terms and I know when these two terms become zero then the two moving frames die on top of each other that is the two end effectors die on top of each other and there is going to be a collision between them hope you found this video useful if you did don't forget to put a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and as always see you in the next video